Hey guys, welcome to the finale of Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut. I can't believe it's already the finale. Um, today we're going to beat the game. So, uh, let's do it. <laughs> now, the rest of the game is smooth sailing from here. Thankfully. No more annoying monsters. Just the end boss. And whatnot. Uh, now right here, just, uh, look at this switch here and press it. And... Yeah, we turned the elevator. Oh, hey, it's Rebecca. Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. Okay, let's do it. We're just uh, going up the elevator. We don't even know what we're going to do up here. Like... I, I don't even know why we're, like, going up here in the first place. I mean... Did, did, some, did something, like, some document tell me to go up here for some reason? I don't know. But let's just do it anyway. Chris, Hey, it's Wesker. You have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. That's right. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Yeah, you traitor. No, you're wrong. I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus. A biological weapon. Polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with the tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Really? Yeah. Like this. Oh no, Rebecca! Rebecca! Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. I have a Chris, magnum. I have something I'll to blow show your head off. Now, walk. Okay. Looks like everything's coming together in this last episode here. The plot thickens here. Yeah, that thing looks familiar. Is that the thing that we saw in the projector in the last episode? The tyrants? Uh, I hope we don't have to fight that guy. You know what's kind of weird about this uh, monster here? His heart is on the right side of his chest. And usually your heart is on the left side is of your chest. This? So I don't get that. That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. Gas. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Wesker, you're pitiful. This is terrible voice acting. This is your savior? You say this failure? Is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Famous last words, Wesker. Wesker is a terrible voice actor. Whoever, whoever the voice actor for him is terrible. Wow, I just, I told, that sentence does not make sense at all. Whoever the voice actor is terrible. Whoever his voice actor is, is terrible. There you go. And he's uh, let free now. Go to hell. Jill will join you too. You killed Jill, didn't you? What? Don't come this way! No! No! Oh, see you, Wesker. Kill me. Okay, just run straight here. Don't don't back up or anything. He'll get you. Now, uh, for, some, for some reason, my magnum is unequipped. Maybe uh, Wesker, maybe unequip it. But uh, now this battle is kind of bugged because whenever Chris auto aims at him, he doesn't aim at him right. It's like you have to like manually aim at it for some reason. Like when you auto aim, it's 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 bugged in this uh, battle here. 
I think it takes like uh, six shots to kill on a dance. So don't don't miss him. Because you want to save all your magnum rounds for later. Oh, I missed. Ugh. Oh, that's what it looks like when I get attacked. Yeah, I usually never get hit in this battle. But first time for everything. Uh, Oh shit, I missed again. I'm, I'm failing so hard right now. Oh, he's dead. If only I had hit him that last time, like, I could have avoided all that damage. Whatevs. Let's just uh, reload here. I got enough magnum rounds to last the rest of the game. Okay, well, the door is locked, so I have to uh, unlock it through this computer here. So let's do it. It looks like the control device for this room. Found a door lock switch. Unlock the door, yes. Let's Wester's body. What a miserable death. You can say that again. Okay, let's get out of here. This was a waste of time. Don't even know why we came up here in the first place. We could have we could have avoided all of this, but no. Curiosity killed the cat. Oh no, Rebecca's hey, Rebecca's wow. still alive. Ha! It seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I, see. I don't think she's wearing a bulletproof How about jacket. Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. You could say that Hurry again. Up. I want to get out of here. Me too. I, I just love how none of this phases Chris at all. It's like he's gone through hell. He's gone through a whole mansion, a guardhouse, uh, catacombs, fought a giant spider, giant um, anaconda, tyrants, and he walks out saying, "I want to get out of here. Uh, I'm I'm bored." Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. Well, apparently, uh, the medic from, from Bravo team knows how to um, set bombs and blow up laboratories, so we'll, we'll let her do that. Now, let's, uh, let's, let's evacuate the laboratory. And cue the epic self-destruct uh, music. Oh, man, I love that. The triggering system has now been activated. All researchers and guards should take cover immediately. That's what they're saying. Okay, we want to go in here. Now, remember all the modisks we uh, we got the uh, remember all those passcodes we got from the modisks? Well, this is where we're gonna uh, put them to use. This is a little um, computer here. Let's examine it. Passcode panel. You've entered the passcode. You've entered the passcode. Okay, yeah. And that unlocks the door here. Now I wonder what leads on um, beyond these doors. Lock all doors for evacuation. Okay. Let's go through this jail door here. Now I wonder who's in here. Jill! Are you there? Chris? Jill! Ah, how cute. Jill, you're all right. They're hugging. Uh, yes. Wesker is Look here. at Jill's ass. She's and she's a fox in this game. Oh, I know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, none of this phases any of them. Jill's been in a goddamn uh, jail cell the entire game and she's like, "Oh, we'll leave. We're fine." Uh, I, I don't understand this. And for some reason my Magnum got equipped unequipped again. But uh, yeah, now we have Jill with us. But she doesn't really do anything. But but it's kind of cool that she uh, follows us around. It's like a party now. All right, let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of this place before it blows up. Let's get going. And of course, Jill goes off ahead without us. And now we're alone again. I mean, I don't understand why these people in this game they don't they don't stick together. 
I mean, if Rebecca and Chris stuck stuck together the entire game, I could have beat this game in like an hour. But no. I had to go find keys and ammo. Couldn't just kick the door down or pick the lock. No, I had to find a key. You know, it's like whatever. I'll stop ranting now. At least these uh, zombies here, they're nothing to worry about. They're just uh, pukers. They won't bite you or anything. And I want to I want to grab one of these herbs here. Actually, two of these herbs. Grab this. Ow. That hurt. Um, yeah, I want to grab this herb here. And we'll see why in a bit. Okay, now watch out for this guy. He's a biter. Okay. We're making good time here. Indeed. Hey, Joe. Let's get going. Thanks for the, um, going ahead and making me uh, get puked down by a zombie. Could have got you. Could have covered me while I was grabbing those herbs, but right here, this is where we want to stock up on healing items because we're gonna need them in a minute. Now I want to grab that red herb I was saving for this for this uh, moment. Now I have a super herb, and then I want to grab my my uh, first aid spray if I have one. I think I have some in here. Yeah. I think that's the last of my... No, I have, I have another one to spare. Okay, that's all we can carry right now. So let's head upstairs. Now remember that door that we couldn't open up when we first got here? Well, now it's unlocked because of the uh, self-destruct sequence. It unlocked all the doors in the laboratory. And somehow Jill got through the door before I did. So she teleported. Now remember how I said, hold on. This is Brad. I have a fuel shortage. Okay. This is the last try. If somebody's alive, please send a sign. Oh. We're coming, Brad, don't worry. Good thing he's still out there. We can get away now. Now remember how I picked up that battery way back in the last episode? Well, if you didn't pick up that battery and you got here, you would have had to go all the way back to that uh, control room or whatever with all the furnaces and pick up that battery. Now that happened to me twice in the, my past time of playing this game. It always pissed me off. So now let's use the battery. There is three minutes until explosion. I made it! I set off the triggering system to the bomb! Great! Rebecca! Brad's up in the helicopter. Look at those monsters! <laughs> Let me take care of them. Okay, Jill. Chris, get in contact with Brad right away. You got it. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, freeing Jill really doesn't do anything. It just uh, gives you a better ending, so... Uh, but it's kind of cool to have her there. Extra dialogue there. It's pretty cool. So now we're going to get out of this place. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to signal um, Brad to pick us up in the helicopter. And now we're on the helicopter pad. Um, if you look over here, you can find a flare. That looks like a ginormous dildo. Okay, um, now you can use the flare anywhere, but um, I like to use it right here. You'll see why in a second. Now let's use my dildo and uh, signal Brad. Okay. Yes, we got his attention. Let's get out of this place now. Oh, uh, see those doors back there? Um, that's those doors lead to uh, by the fountain. The ones you couldn't open up, the ones that were welded shut. Okay, let's get out of here now. We we beat the game. Huh? Uh oh. He doesn't look too happy. Let's shoot him. Now, <laughs> you think he's gonna walk the whole battle? Trust me. You thought wrong if you thought that. Now, I'm gonna wait for him to come after me. Damn! 
I love how I love when he hits Chris like that, and then he like falls back. He like slides back. He's so like Chris is so beastly that if he gets whacked by that guy, he like he'll fall back, but he'll still be on his feet. I love that. It's so fucking awesome. That was ah I'm missing too much. Damn. Ten more rounds. Okay, let's not fuck around anymore. I I, I gotta play this seriously now. Now, if I run out of time, then I lose automatically. Yeah, I'm kind of like dropping the ball here a bit. I'm like, I can't do this with commentary. But I'll get it, don't worry. Well, oh, see that? If he press start, he'll be back on his feet again. Okay, let's use the first aid spray. Wow. I could have avoided all that. Just please don't kill me. Okay, okay. Moment of truth. The rocket launcher. I gotta get that rocket launcher. Please don't kill me. Yes! Yes! I'm gonna beat the game. And we got the rocket launcher. Let's end this. I'm not gonna make this epic. I'm gonna make this epic. You want some of this? 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 Yeah! I beat you! Oh, that was an epic battle. <laughs> oh, man. 30 seconds to go. Oh, man. Okay, let's go. Let's let's go home now. Come on, Bradley. Pick me up. Well, unfortunately, the the game crashes right after I uh, fly away in the helicopter, and I can't uh, see the next movie scene, in credits, etc. Uh, this is due to my disc being very scratched up, and I mean, I'm, I'm not mad because you know. I give this game, this disc, a lot of credit. I mean, it survived. It's it's it survived like uh, how long have I had this disc? How long have I had this disc for? Um, I've had it since I was seven years old. So I'm 20 years old right now. Um, 13 years. This, this disc is 13 years old. It's got so many scratches on it, and you know, I I don't blame it for, for not working past the ending here. But um, but you know, it's kind of funny and pathetic. But um. If I beat the game without saving Jill, and I get the worst ending, then the game doesn't crash right here for some reason. Um, that sucks. But um, fortunately, with the magic of video editing, I was able to incorporate um, the rest of the game footage into this video. So uh, let's do it. Oh, there goes the mansion. Nice mushroom cloud right there. It's finally over, and Jill's falling asleep on my shoulder. How cute. <laughs> ah, I know what Chris is thinking. Those two girls are getting uh, rested up for a nice three-way. Aww. Now for the ending credits. My favorite part of the game. I'll try to shut up during this, but I'll try I'll try. I remember that guy. Hey wait, I, I don't remember it happening like this. Okay, now that that's not how it happened. I never attacked those bees. Wait, I never even saved uh, Rebecca in here. So yeah, it's just uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is just beta testers doing. Uh, th this is where the recordings came from. It's definitely not me. I would never be that dumb. 
and I'd especially not be dumb enough to use the flamethrower against the ginormous tarantula. Okay, I'll shut up now. God, this guy must suck. Oh yeah, the ending theme is called Still Dawn, if you want to look it up on YouTube. Or just search the ending credits for Resident Evil. Alright, um, now the time, my total time right there, um, that is a rough estimate. Uh, because when I beat the game without saving Jill, um, it said I had a time of around four and a half hours. So, yeah, I, that's that was my rough estimate. And my number of saves was 11. And what a tough guy. You've closed this case completely. That means you saved Jill and Rebecca, got the best ending. And then you you would uh, I would have unlocked the, uh, the Magnum, the Unlimited Magnum. Which is awesome, but too bad I, uh, too bad my disc was, uh, all messed up. But anyway, um, I guess it's time to give my review to the, my review of the game. Um, I'm gonna split, I'm gonna split the review into, uh, three categories. The first category being, um, voice acting. Second category being graphics. And... Fourth, a third being um, difficulty, um, and then the f and then o an overall rating. Um, and now the first first uh, rating would be uh, I'd give it a five out of ten for the voice acting because it wasn't that incredibly bad. I mean, um, Resident Evil was one of the first games to have uh, voice acting. Uh, I believe. I mean, I mean, like, not like, uh, I, I'm, I'm talking about, like, PlayStation, like, console games, not PC games. Those, those those don't count. I'm talking about, like, actual incorporated voice acting into a video game, like, into 3D graphics. Um, I mean, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, at the time, you know, it, it was, uh, you know, it was a new thing, and nobody really, uh, Nobody really ever noticed how bad the voice actors were back then, and but you look at it now and it's like stupid as hell. Like compare the voice acting in this game to the the remake, it, it makes uh, the remake makes the remake makes this game look like a uh, ballet, but um, <laughs> or it makes it look like uh, Dora the Explorer or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So I give it a five out of ten for the voice acting, and the graphics. Um, Give that. Um, now I'll be fair. I'll give it a seven out of ten. If this were 1997, I would give it a like a 20 out of 10 because, I mean, back then, 3D graphics in a video game was like amazing, and but now it's this these these graphics look like crap, um, compared to our games of today. So I'll give it a setup seven out of ten. Just to be fair. And then uh, the difficulty. Oh man. Difficulty, um, give it a 9 out of 10. And, you know, I'll, I'll add a fourth um, category. Um, and, 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 you know, my rating for difficulty is pretty self explanatory. You saw how I struggled with that game, um, even though I've beaten the game a thousand times. But anyway, um, fourth category, I'll make it um, replay replayability 20 out of 10. Cause I, I could play this game so much. Um, I've beaten it at least over 20 times. Uh, I beat it first time I ever beat it w was in kindergarten, and believe it or not, I actually did beat it in kindergarten. Um, my brother, I remember my brother showed me how to play this game, and then I got better. At, I got better at it than he was, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I had a lot of great memories of it, and. You know, if I'm still if I'm still playing it and beating it again to this day, then you know that that deserves like a 10 out of 10. But uh, yeah, and then the overall rating for the game, 
I shall give this game, since I love it so much and I think it deserves it, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I think this is the first game I've ever given a 10 out of 10 to. Um, only because, it, it, I mean, it started such a great series of games. Um, I mean, Resident Evil 1, you know, if it wasn't for Resident Evil 1, there wouldn't be a Resident Evil 2, so on and so forth. So, yeah, it's a great game, great, perfect game to LP. And perfect material, everything all around. It's a lot of fun. It wasn't even that hard either. It was only like uh, not that many videos, not even 20 videos. But uh, anyway, uh, this video has dragged on long enough. So um, when we come back, I'm um, going to have the first part of Resident Evil, of Let's Play Resident Evil 2, my favorite Resident Evil um, game. But until then, thank you guys for uh, sitting down and watching my Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut. Um, and I'll see you next time.